Okay, welcome everyone to our fourth or fifth attempt at getting these replays out to you guys. Finally, it looks like technology is going to cooperate, so myself and Envy Death are here to bring you guys a whole bunch of replays from Team Envy. This is, uh, these games have been submitted by the players to us. We haven't seen the games, we don't know what to expect. We're going to start out this series with Envy's Jazzbaz, the Kiwi Zerg, up in the top left. And his opponent is going to be FXO's Theory as the Red Protoss in the top right of Star Station. Now, uh, being joined here by Envy Death, he has checked out Theory's stream. He has seen a little bit of uh, what he has to offer. So why don't you tell us what you've seen him do? Yeah, so I uh, had a little bit of a squiz, and he seems to play different styles according to the maps, uh, which is really cool to see, like, Protoss adapt, um, depending on the situation they're in. I've seen him do um, Templar, Archon, Zealot, for a gateway um, uh, centered armies, and I've also seen him do some Dark Templar rushes and um, all sorts of shenanigans, even just regular Forge expands into Colossus builds. So it's going to be really interesting to see what he does here. Um, really, anything can happen, and I'm really excited to see how this game turns out. Well, I'm looking forward to some of the shenanigans, man, because uh, <laughs> looks like Jazzbaz is going to be looking for that 15-inch uh, uh -oh. opening, which is very, very vulnerable against a Protoss with a Forge Fast Expand opening, as we all know. And Theory's already put down the Forge. He's not even pretending to scout yeah. first. And this is no Nexus first. He's going to be in an optimal uh. position to throw down cannons if he wants to. Yeah, I'm sure he'll just see the hatch and be like, all right, buddy, I'm going to throw down some cannons. And here <laughs> he it goes. Is. <laughs> There's the pylon. <laughs> now, of course, Jazzbaz does not have his Overlord sitting nearby to, to scout for this sort of thing. His Overlord is uh, over in the natural nice. of theory. Sending a drone down, though, so it's pretty smart that he's doing this, but is he actually going to scout around his natural? Uh-oh. He's One not... Drone heading is he... Oh. He's, he's going to put down a third hatch, like, straight away. Double hatch actively. before pool. What is this? Jazz is made of balls, man. You know, this is actually really good against what's happening here because he can just cancel this hatch and lose almost nothing yeah well I mean uh, this is the sort of thing where really good Protoss players will try to time this out to make sure that the cannons finish after the hatchery because you don't want to be in this awkward situation where all of your cannons finish and then the Zerg just cancels the hatchery and then you you're kind of sitting there with a red face and a lot of lost money yeah you always want to leave one pro uh, photon cannon to finish but if they cancel you just cancel the other two and go for the Nexus there you go just yeah, like just that yeah just like that yeah so, uh, good uh, good actions from both players there. Now we can see the third hatch of Jazzbaz is actually mm. also being cannon rushed, and he doesn't know about this either. That's going to be pretty rough. Uh, he c he can't deal with that. Like, he can't pull drones down and kill three cannons in, in the time that it's going to take them to warp in. But look what he's doing in the natural theory. <laughs> look how obnoxious that is. <laughs> That's pretty he's crazy. Saying, you know, if I can't expand, then you can't either. I like Suck it. them apples. <laughs> now we can see he's getting gas as well, so this kind of suggests that he might be looking to go for banelings or roaches as a follow-up. Normally we don't really see gas, you know, as such a an immediate response to a cannon rush. Oh, he let his third finish. Wow. He, yeah, he didn't realize the cannons were there because the Overlord wasn't there in time. Hmm. So that's that. that is a bit of a blow to him. That's 300 minerals that he can't really make use of, and he can't mine from another base until he takes out the single photon cannon in his nat. Oh well, wow. and cannons over in Theory's natural are going to be taking down this hatchery as well. That's fine. He's still going to be able to deny the Nexus for like another few minutes. That's a good point. And in that time, he is bringing up his Roach Warren. He, he almost, almost started the second, one. <laughs> second one. He was pretty keen for those Roaches, man. <laughs> Oh, he lets his hatch finish there, so it de it actually denies the Nexus even longer because the creep spreads out, uh, and then, like, the little... Uh, what are they called? The hatch. Oh, broodlings. the broodlings, yeah. Yeah. The broodlings are going to come out, maybe kill a probe or two. Oh, well, Theory's going to have to be careful. It looks like, yeah, he's sending the probes out just in time to avoid being attacked by those broodlings. So, so far, if we look at the uh, the resources lost for both players, Theory currently down 74 minerals for the cancelled cannons, whereas Jazzbaz is down 775 for oh, one cancelled hatchery and two destroyed hatcheries. Oh, uh, I love what he's doing there with the proxy hatchery, though, because that's going to finish, and he's going to be able to make a queen and then just keep pumping out roaches. Ah. And because 
theory is still on one base. Like, it's still essentially one base Protoss against one base Zerg after all this time. That's true. Now, well, one I thing that the I... The approach is going to be really good against those cannons. I'm also a big fan of this hatchery because it means that if he is uh, facing air units, he doesn't know yet about this Stargate in the natural, but if he is facing air units, he can very easily put down spore crawlers to protect himself and to kind of create a barrier there where the Void Rays can't chase down the roaches. Obviously, now that uh, in Heart of the Swarm... The uh, the spore crawler does not require an evolution chamber as a prerequisite, so they're yeah. very very easy to get. Jazz can even get a couple of spine crawlers if he wants to, and if he's really cheeky, he could even expand to Theory's third. <laughs> he certainly could. <laughs> I really hope we see that. That'd be hilarious. Have a lot of static defense. Maybe get some uh, swarm hosts after getting layer tech. Uh, here, here he goes. So he's going to be knocking down that one photon cannon, and then he's going to have free reign to knock down the forge, the gateway, and the pylon if he wants to. The thing that is going to be coming out though is that one void ray is going to make short work of all these roaches. He needs to get a couple more queens out and get a spore crawler up as fast as possible. But he is, he's just bullying his way in there. Wow, these links came at a perfect moment too because obviously the void ray only dealing uh, bonus damage when charged up against the roaches takes a little bit longer to kill those links so that does provide a lot of extra health to buffer for those roaches. That is true. He hasn't turned on his um, prismatic alignment, which does the extra damage to armored units. That's true. Looks like he's not going to be using that one anytime oh, wow. soon. What a great hold Theory's, for Theory. Yeah, Theory's defense was admirable there, but unfortunately, there is just too much Zerg firepower. Needs to turn on the Nexus cannon. Yep, he just that accumulated goes. enough energy for it, and there it is. And his Nexus in the natural just finished as well. He needs to hold on to this Nexus, though, if he's going to be able to come out ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like he will. So the power of that Nexus cannon plus the Mothership Core and Void Ray manages to clean up all of the forces at the uh, at the main base, but those Queens are now out for Jazz Bats. They'll be able to siege up the wall and uh, shoo away that Void Ray while Jazz waits for reinforcements. Theory literally only has a Void Ray and a Mothership Core and probes. <laughs> this oh. is actually crazy. Oh, wow, that Queen going down. Things Bit of a blunder in. there. Oh wow, and those links are going to do so much damage. It looks like the Nexus Cannon has only got a few seconds left on it. Is Jazz actually just going to focus it down? No, probes are being pulled now. So many probes going down though. Yeah. Oh. That is 22 dead probes now. Thanks to Jazz Bass's links. And Jazz just keeps making queens. <laughs> he's, that's all he's been making, really. I mean, queens and links. Who would have thought that this would have been viable? This is like the most unorthodox game I've seen in a while. <laughs> Yeah, he's not even trying. Like, I mean, he's had the forces the entire time to just go and kill that photon cannon and expand into his natural, but he's just choosing to be hyper-aggressive. And this is the kind of player that Jazzbaz is. He loves to be aggressive and just... If he can beat you with fewer units and not have to worry about um, going up to a huge economy, he'll just stay on low economy. Kind of like Jadong-esque style. <laughs> and it's really fun to watch. Oh, it looks like our theory is actually miscollected. He was focusing down his own pylon for a second there, but it has been fixed up. Uh-oh, that Nexus is going to go down. Jazz actually choosing to try and get up the ramp. No, force field prevents him, so he will focus down that Nexus, and it is definitely going down this time. The Queen's still alive and well with a decent amount of energy accumulated as well. Kind of trying to brainstorm what theory can do here. He needs to get a couple of cannons on the low ground. If he can do that then this game sort of equalizes and Theory can go up to two base. Yeah. But if he can't get some cannons on the low ground, well, he's doing a fantastic job with those sentries. Mm. But if he can't get some more defense, he's going to have a really rough time. Did, uh, and did Jazz he... is going up to layer tech as well, as well as getting a spine crawler preemptively in his uh, main mineral line, just in case of warp prisms. Do you know if I, I think a couple more links might have gotten into the main base because Theory actually activated the Nexus cannon again a few seconds ago. I'm not quite yeah, sure. Yeah, I saw that. I it just seemed out of the blue. Yeah. Maybe he was preemptively doing that against Ling. I don't know. Hmm. Now I like that he's actually replacing his cybernetics core in uh, anticipation of the one that's about to die at the front of the base. That is really smart because if he can't build any more sentries, he's that's completely good. screwed. Yeah. Now he's going to have to retreat up into his main with the rest of his forces. Ooh, a Nidus network and a Hydroden along with Roach Speed on the way for Jazzbaz. Looks like he's uh, going to be doing some multi-prong attacks here. The front ramp and the back door. And it looks like there's a slightly little shady spot in the side of Theory's base where he does not have vision. Mm. 
That's really sneaky. Oh, and Theory's just going to put a robo down. Yeah. So... I think there's this still... Yeah, there's, there's a slight dark spot there. The Overlord's moving in. It looks like he's going to be placing that Nidus Worm in just a second. Oh, my God. Jazz sending those roaches home. Checking that vision. <laughs> oh, it's in the perfect spot as well. That's incredible. Like, absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh, Man, what, what a are the baller. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you'd be spewing if you were Theory in this position, because to him it looks like he's held it off, and then bam, roaches and roaches things are going to start <laughs> pouring through. Wow. It's two at first, but now he's going to be sending everything back into his main, and just a stream of roaches come in, and the GG is called. Well, that was pretty crazy, man. Jazzbear's <laughs> showing exactly how you can uh, lose your expansion twice when going hatch, wait, double hatch before pool, and somehow pulling off a win. It almost didn't look like a game of StarCraft. It kind of just reminded me of, like, crazy games of uh, Command & Conquer or something with yeah. just small groups of units and completely unorthodox styles. Yeah, that felt like a game of Warcraft 3 to me. Yeah, <laughs> It was definitely. pretty nuts. All right, well, I love it. That's, more. Uh, that's the end of our first game. We'll be back soon with another game.